Jump down to verse 21. For then shall, shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, nor no nor ever shall be. Verse 22 is the point. And except those days be uh, shortened, so except those days shall be shortened, there shall no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. So everybody will be put to death if, if it can't, if it was up to the fourth beast. See, and man, uh, the elect is what they was going to try to put to death. It wasn't going to be just any random person. It said, for the elect's sake, those days shall be short. That's the flip. That's why he re, uh, reiterated what he was talking about. Let's get deeper into this situation and talk, tell you who is really about the elect. Except those days be shortened, there shall be no no flesh saved. For the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. So he's not worried about the wicked because he's trying to destroy the wicked. But for the elect's sake, he's going to cut the time short and save uh, the um, elect and, and, and save some of these uh, heathen so he can put they behind into slavery. Now let's get um, is it Luke 6. Look at verse 23. It's Luke 21 and 23. It says, But woe unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days. For there shall be great tribulation, great distress in the land. See, that go that purge. And wrath upon this people. So it's going to be great wrath upon those that fear the Lord. Let's get that in 2nd Ezra 16. Because these, this beast and this dragon, they are, this going to uh, wage war with the remnant of her seed. Starting at verse 68, it says, For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you. Now that great multitude is the uh, beast. That great multitude is the dragon. That great multitude is the fourth kingdom, the eagle, see, the nation of Edom, the children of Esau. This is who the great multitude is that's going to be kindled over the, those that fear the Lord. It says, um, uh, and they shall take away certain of you. So it's not they're not gonna uh take everybody. See, some of most of these people are gonna be being put to death through chaos and through uh, famine. But it's gonna be a certain group that's gonna be targeted. Look at what it's gonna say. A certain of you and feed you being idle with things offered unto idols. So they're gonna take a certain group of people and try to feed them to the idols. But here, here, here go the purge here in verse 70. It says, For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. 71. They shall be like mad men, sparing none, but 
still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. It says, Then shall they be known who are my chosen. So once they attack and try to implement this uh, purge, they're going to see that they purge not working on the chosen. See, the chosen is not going to have to be uh, subject to this... Um, the, the purge is not going to, I mean, the um, chosen is not going to be subject to the purge. They're going to realize this. That's what, let's get that in uh, Ezekiel. Let's go to Ezekiel 33 and 33. It says, And when this come to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet have been among them. See, when it when it is come to pass that the, these red dragons start to purge, and they they, they not gonna purge on no small level. See, they mad about this guy purging over there in um what's the place Buffalo. They mad about the guy purging at the grocery store at, at Buffalo. See, Buffalo is not going to just be where the purge is going to be at. Buffalo is just a drop in the bucket on what this dragon is going to be able to do. It's what this pale horse, these, these so-called pale Edomite, that's just a small situation. See, it's going to be a great purge. Let's see here. Jeremiah... Jeremiah talks, I mean Ezekiel, not Jeremiah. Ezekiel 21, let's get it. Because the Lord, see, he's been warning these people. He's been warning them. And they've been uh, saying that we not the prophets, and what we saying is not going to come to pass. So this is what's going to happen. And this is what's going to happen on a large scale. It ain't going to be just like this guy in Buffalo. Buffalo is small. Ezekiel 21 and 9. Son of man, prophesy and say, Thus says the Lord, Say a sword, a sword is sharpened, And also firmest. Who was given that sword? Edomites. They was given a great sword. See, that sword wasn't just given to any random nation. It was given to the Edomites first, and then the Edomites dispersed it to their allies. Verse 10, it says, It is sharpened to make a sword slaughter. See, that's what that purge is about. It's going to make a sword a sword slaughter. It is firmness that it may glitter. Should we then make mirth? It contempted the rod of my son as every tree. Like you cut that sword, cut down that tree. That's how he going to cut down these uh, rebellious children. Verse 11, it says, And he have given it to be furnished, furbished, that it may be handled. This sword is sharpened, and it is furbished to give it into the hand of the slayer. See, he going to give it into Esau's hand. He's going to give it into these Edomites' hand. To uh, purge the rebel. See, let's get that in Proverbs 17 and 11. It says, An evil man seeketh only rebellion. See, these are rebellious children that want to reject what the prophet is bringing out, that want to reject that Esau is the devil. In Revelation 12 and 9, they want to reject that Esau is Satan. See, they want to reject that the that Esau is their enemy. See, these are the things these people want to reject. They don't want to face the fact that this kingdom is falling. See, they let's let's get a good job in the kingdom. Let's prosper. Let's start a, a community. Let's build some businesses 
Let's get our money up in this kingdom so we can uh, be rich in this kingdom and hold hands with the so-called white man. See, that's why he got a sword. See, and uh, Buffalo, Buffalo is a drop in the bucket, man. What he went in the store and shot up 13 people. 13 people ain't going to compare to the number of people that is going to drop dead due to them not knowing who they enemy. Trusting their enemy. Let's get that. Oh, I didn't finish the verse. It said, an evil man seeks rebellion, therefore a cruel messenger shall be sent against him. See, it's going to be a cruel messenger. Who is that cruel messenger? Not only is the angels, the spirits that he created to, 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 to implement all of this stuff, but it's the, the Edomites, the nation of Edom, the red dragon, who is the beast, and the fourth kingdom. See, people throwing these words, the Romans and the Greeks. We know the Romans and the Greeks were the Edomites, man. They are that fourth kingdom. They are the beast, the dragon. They are those ten kings that's ruling all over the other king they are the so-called white man the false identity that esau tried to hide behind now let's go to um let's say a cruel messenger shall be sent against these uh rebellious children that want to reject the truth let's go ahead and get 17 13 Psalm 17, 13, and say, Arise, O Lord, disappoint him. Cast him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked, which is your sword. See, the, these the Edomites is the Lord's sword, man. This ain't uh, just a random nation that was just so happened to take over the world and just so happened to have... Uh, the, the greatest military of all time, man. It's not a coincidence. And see that great sword. Let's get that in. Um, since we're talking about this purge, uh, Genesis chapter uh, 27. Genesis 27, starting that verse. Let's get to the point. Starting that verse. 40, it say, and by thy sword shall thy live. See, the sword was given to Esau. This was a blessing. Let's get the context. 38. And Esau said unto his father, Has thou but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also, my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. So he lifted up his voice and wept. And Isaac, his father, answered. And verse 40, he said, And by thy sword thou shalt live. So they was going to have this great sword that was going to, and this great military. That's why I say, Who can war with the beast? That was going to be able to take over the world, the compass of the world. Second Edges uh, 11 and 40. See? And then verse 41 is what why the purge is going to happen. Why he going to focus on a certain group of people. He going to focus on the chosen and uh, when it all go down, when his kingdom falls. Look at verse 41, Genesis 27, 41. And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing of wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, The days of mourning of my father are at hand. Then shall I slay my brother Jacob. See, he had in his mind that I'm going to kill Jacob because he got the blessing that I wanted to get. He got the blessing if I would have behaved myself, I would have so-called God. This is what he's saying in his mind. But this is wasn't the, the the purpose or the plan of the Most High. See, so this is why that purge is gonna go down. Now look look at verse forty two. Let's bring that out. 
Let's bring that out. It's in, and these words of Esau, her eldest son, were told to Rebekah. So, okay. Now, he heard what Esau was thinking. So, Jacob then told Rebekah. Oh no, well, let's 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 get it over again. And these words of Esau, her eldest son, was told to Rebekah. So not only was uh Esau saying this that he wanted to kill Jacob, Rebekah was told, it was told to Rebekah. Who told Rebekah? Who told Rebekah that Esau wanted to kill Jacob? Let's get it. It said, And she sent and called Jacob, her younger son, and said to him, Behold, your brother Esau as touching you do comfort himself, purposing to kill you. <laughs> oh. So she said, uh, 43, Now therefore, my son, obey my voice, and also flee thou to Laban, my brother, to Haran. So what Esau was thinking in his heart, uh, Rebecca was even told to go tell Jacob. See, see, the Lord was orchestrating this whole thing. Because who told? How did he hear? It says was told to Rebecca. Who told Rebecca that Esau wanted to kill Jacob? Who told Rebecca that Esau was so mad that he lost his uh, blessing? That he sold his blessing. Who told Rebecca this situation? See, the Most High was letting Rebecca know. See, the angel probably came and told Rebecca again. It just don't elaborate on it, but somebody told her, and ain't nobody gonna know what he saw thinking his head but the Lord. Let's get that. Let's go back to Second Ezra 16. Is it 67? Okay, um, yeah, I think it's, uh, Let me start at 62. It's the second edge of 16 and 62. It says, Yeah, and the Spirit of Almighty God, which made all things and searched out all hidden things in the secrets of the earth, surely he knoweth your inventions and what ye think in your heart. Even them that sin and would hide their sin. See, Esau thought he was going to be able to hide his sin. But the Most High could read his thoughts. And he told Rebekah. He said, Rebekah, Esau is going to try to kill Jacob. Tell him to go to Laban to your brother. See? That goes along with Jeremiah 49 and 10. He said, I have made Esau bear and have uncovered his secret places. He shall not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled and his brethren and his neighbors. He is not going to be able to hide himself. So that fourth kingdom is Esau's kingdom. That was promised to him that he was going to be given a sword and he was going to live by this sword. This sword was going to give him the dominion over the whole earth. See, the rulership over the whole earth. That's what the swarm was gonna do. So, this is how we know that these Edomites are the end of the world and they are gonna purge. It's gonna be a major purge because they have said in their hearts 
that they gonna slay. Let's get that real quick before I run out of time. Okay, where it says, it says, uh, Okay. Now, if, it, if it's anything being heard in the background, I do not own the copyrights to no music in the background. I do not own the copyrights to the music in the background. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2. Where it says. Chapter 5. I think it's chapter 2. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2. It says, For the godly, for the ungodly says, reasoning with themselves, but not aright. So the, the Lord is reading these uh, ungodly Edomites' minds. And hearing what they saying, I want to get to the point in here. It says, uh, let's see here. Oh, verse 10, it says, let us oppress the poor righteous man. See? Let us oppress the poor righteous man. Let us not spare the widow nor reverence the ancient gray hairs of the uh, of the age. So the, these Edomites are saying, let's oppress the poor righteous man. Let's uh, oppress Jacob. It says, uh, verse 11, for our strength by the law of justice for that which is feeble is found to be nothing worth. Therefore, verse 12, therefore let us lie and wait for the righteous. See, they lying and wait. They waiting on the opportunity and the time that the Lord allowed them to purge Jacob. It says, because he is not for our turn, he is clean contrary to our doings, he upbraided us, that means curse us out, with our offending the law. He object to our infamy and transgression of our ed education. See, we, he, Jacob telling me you the bold-faced lie. See, they hate when you call them a liar. See, they're a bunch of liars. They're the father of the lie. Satan, the devil. See, they love to tell a bold-faced lie. What they call it, gaslighting? It's all about gaslighting now. Say people weren't even talking about gaslighting. Uh, I'm gonna say five or ten years, you'll never hear somebody talking about. Oh, they're gaslighting now. At these last days, you hear me misinformation and gaslighting because this is what they do. In order to get to the uh, truth, you got to expose the lies. So that's why you got this gaslighting going on because Esau. It was the greatest gaslighter of all time. And he been gaslighting everybody through his education, through, the, through his false knowledge that he been pushing out through his high schools, elementary, universities, see, his uh, books that's been uh, promoting these lies. Now it says, uh, he professed to have the knowledge of God. See, we profess, we know what we talking about. Esau is the liar. Esau is the devil. See, the so-called white man is the liar and the, the adversary of God. See, he, they don't like that type of stuff. It says, he called himself the child of the Lord. He was made to reprove our thoughts. He is grievous unto us, even to behold. See, when they see you, they be like, oh, these blacks and Hispanics. Oh, I just can't take them. It says, for his life is not like other men. His ways are of another fashion. 
See, this this is the thoughts of these Edomites. The Lord know their thoughts before they was even born. He know how to read their thoughts. And it ain't no special strategy. The Lord got all power, man. He can do anything that that's possible. He gonna be able to do it. Cause he created everything. Now, uh, when you go into um, this purge, this is another reason that the elect got to be saved. It says, then, uh, this is Wisdom of Solomon 5, verse 1. Then shall a righteous man stand in, bold, in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labors. When they see it, they shall be trouble with terrible fear so not only is uh they pretty much um with wrath with revelation 12 and 12 they got great wrath uh second elder 16 talks about the wrath of the uh burning wrath of a most great multitude not only they got wrath but the, the fear is uh fueling that wrath it say, when they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. See? And shall be amazed at the strangers of his salvation so far beyond as they have looked for. So they hoping on his plans to fail. Jacob's plans to fail and his blessing to fail. See, they hoping that he don't get the blessing. But they also angry at the fact that he gonna get the blessing and so that's when the purge is gonna come out they gonna be like mad men running uh destroying and spoiling those that fear the lord and so we at that time they got everything set up they got uh so-called um camps fema camps they got all kind of laws that they done set up like uh, Daniel 8 and 24, they got laws set up to show how through their policy, they're going to be able to come after Jacob and purge Jacob. So I'm going to leave it there. Um, the rain is running me off the block. So I'm going to leave it there. Let me get uh, one last verse. Oh, Joel 3 and 1. It says, verse 2. This is Joel 3 and 2. I will also gather all nations and will bring them down to the valley of Jehoshaphat and will plead with them there for my people and for my inheritance, Israel. So they gonna, he going to have to plead with these nations because they're going to be doing the purge. They're going to try to purge all the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. See, they trying to purge the chosen because they know they are chosen now um, what was the other one? Oh, Daniel let's go back to Daniel let's get the climax of this thing Daniel 12 and 1 it saying at that time shall Michael stand up the great prince with standing for the children of your people Daniel this is the angel talking to Daniel it says and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to the same time so even since till the nation of uh, the, uh, the time that the nation of Israel was established this is going to be trouble that never happened it says at that time your people shall be delivered everyone that shall be found written in the book so they was already written in a book. It was already elected and, and uh, promised and, and, and uh, predestinated to get salvation and deliverance. And it's going to be a time when it's a major purge going on for their nation. Their nation is going to be being purged, but the elect of that nation is going to make it out of that purge. Just like the movie. See, they was going through the project slaughtering people. But when you got to the uh, end, you had the dope, the dope man survive. 
and the girl and the boy. She was a, a, a few chosen peoples that was surviving it, but the majority of the peoples were being laid down and slaughtered. Since I got time, let me get one more. All praise to the Most High. Uh, let's see. Isaiah 34. Now talking about America, this is how it's going to go down. Isaiah 34 and 6, he said, The sword of the Lord is filled with blood. It is made fat with fatness and with the blood of lambs and goats and with the fat of the kidneys of rams. See that lambs and goats and all that? Those are the, the people that's in America. It says, For the Lord have a great sacrifice in Basra. Basra is the king, the, the capital of the Edomites. See, it says a great slaughter in the land of Idumea. See, that's that purge that's going to happen in the land of America, in the land of these Edomites. See, they're going to be uh, going all out trying to purge those that fear the Lord, which are the children of Israel, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Okay? And so, it's all through the word how the Lord is going to purge uh, these uh, Edomites' kingdom. And he's going to purge the Israelites, the rebellious Israelites that want to reject his words and his prophets. But I'm going to leave it there. All praise to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah, Bashim, Kakadash, double honor to the elders, pushing the truth. Peace of the elect worldwide. Our kingdom is at hand. Shalom.